Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with your daily analysis for the S&P 500 for the trading session dated Thursday 6th of September. I'm recording this video quarter to six in the evening New York time on the 6th of September New York time. Here's our daily chart for the S&P. I'm still expecting some more upwards movement before it's over to complete a triple zigzag structure for primary B. We got some upwards movement we were expecting it's over 10 points above our target that I had for yesterday's session though, and the momentum was a bit stronger than I was expecting, although I did expect an increase in momentum as a third wave unfolded. We definitely got a third wave, it's probably complete, and the structure for wave 5 pink is incomplete overall, I'm still expecting more upwards movement, the target remains the same. At 1441, 5 pink would reach 0.618, the length of 3 pink, just 2 points above that. At 1443, C blue would reach equality in length with A blue. When we have a little bit more upwards movement, particularly if price gets to the target zone, at that stage we'll be looking out for a really big trend change that could be just a couple of sessions away. Wave 1 pink lasted 4 sessions, Wave 3 pink lasted 13 sessions. I had expected Wave 5 pink to slow in momentum and to have a shallower slope than this and so be more like 13 than 4 sessions. But with yesterday's really strong upwards movement, we don't have a new high for MACD, so the momentum has not increased beyond that which we see within the third wave. So MACD still agrees with this wave count, but getting closer to the target so quickly makes me think wave 5 pink is probably going to be more like 4 or 5 sessions than 13, so it could be just a couple of days away from being over. Let's have a look at this on the hourly chart. Here's the low of 4, and this is 5 unfolding. We have 1 double zigzag for 2, an impulse for three complete. The subdivisions within the third wave all look really typical. On the hourly chart, it's got a really nice strong middle part, the third wave of the third wave. I'd be looking out for a small, shallow, sideways moving fourth wave correction, at least for part, if not all, of tomorrow's session, which is very likely to end just a little bit below the end of the fourth wave of one lesser degree. Four orange has its low at 1428.33. So somewhere down here. And when that's done, a final fifth wave up in the following session towards this target. Four green can't move into wave one green price territory. At this stage, the wave count is invalidated with movement below 1409.31 So we got upwards movement, it was just a lot higher and sharper than I had expected, 10 points over our target zone. There is a nice Fibonacci ratio in there, it's not 1.618, it's 2.618. So the third wave is finished, we'll be looking out for a small fourth wave correction, probably to take a session or so, and then a final upwards fifth wave, probably to a new high, probably to that small target zone. It could all be over in another couple of sessions or so. That's all for me today with your S&P analysis, and I hope that members are all having a fabulous day.